Hey guys, I'm here with Zach from CZ USA. Zach, thank you much for coming on TFB TV. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. So let's uh, take a look at some of the new products that you guys have here. Yeah, so the one that we've been getting a lot of questions about is the Scorpion Micro. Um, so the Scorpion itself is a pretty small platform to begin with, uh, but we've taken that 7.7 inch barrel and chopped it down to four and a half. Uh, and basically made it as tiny as it can really be. So it's got a uh, SP Tactical uh, collapsible uh, arm brace on it, and then a uh, faux suppressor from Silencer Co. On the, the carbine suppressors, we do a, a no Osprey, so it's a fake Osprey. And this one's actually a fake, uh, oct or sorry, we do a no octane on the, on the carbines. This is a no Osprey. So it's actually got the really cool shape of the Osprey, and then it's uh, dropped down in that, in that handguard. So it's kind of, we, we're, feel really fortunate to be able to have a bunch of aftermarket uh, supporters. Um, HB Industries makes a really cool uh, handguard, so we're, we're using that here. Um, another company, Manicor Arms, they do a lot of cool stuff for them, and they've actually designed this for SB. Uh, so we're able to kind of, you know, pivot off some of those awesome things that people that are doing in the aftermarket to support us and make cool products that we think folks are going to like. Uh, so it's got a four and a half inch barrel, um, collapsible brace. Uh, MSRP is 1149. Kind of, you know, it gets bumped up a little bit because of that brace and because of the, some of the accessories, uh, but still pretty accessible and it's just a bone, you know, dead reliable, really simple platform. So that's 1149. Is that for the fake can or is that with an actual can? Uh, no, that's just the way you see it here. So it's got that fake can. But the thing is, this the whole project started because we have LE guys that are asking for as small of a package as possible uh, for undercover use. Uh, so we, this was developed specific, specifically for them, and then our new line of suppressors came off of that. So I'll put this aside for a sec. Can I unscrew this or? Sure. So here is a uh, another Scorpion that has the suppressor that was built for that gun. So that four and a half inch barrel, and then we have a reflex suppressor that fits down underneath the handguard. And you actually see that it has two inches of reflex and it comes back as far as possible up against the action, basically boosting that blast chamber. Uh, so that the first gases that make their way in there, they, uh, they're able to expand into a much larger area than if that can stop right at the end of the barrel. Uh, so you basically get a lot more capacity inside for the same amount of footprint when it's on the gun. Otherwise so, you'd have this whole thing sticking out about that yeah, much longer. It'd be way longer, yeah. So uh, it's also fully welded titanium construction, makes it really light. Um, it's, you know, the, the only service you're ever going to have to do is uh, basically put it on a 223, mag dump it, blast all the carbon out of it, and get, run it back on your 9 again. Um, so in general, just a really robust, really simple can that's lightweight. I mean, it is the suppressor version of the Scorpion. It's just simple, um, just, you know, there's not much going on. There's not much that's going to go wrong. So uh, we also do, it's, it's a little bit pricey for the titanium version, it's just shy of a thousand bucks. Uh, we do a stainless version as well, it's 60% heavier, but it's also $5.99. Okay. So uh, some different options out there for Scorpion owners. Um, but also in the suppressor line, we've got our, our uh, centerfire reflex. So 5.56 tie, um, 7.62, and then a 338 can. Um, they're, they're all just a little over $1,200, but uh, they basically the suppressor portion is this, and you get a three inch reflex with the can. So you can either run it with a flush mount and just have that suppressor, or you can add the three inch reflex if, if the barrel allows you to, and it gives you a lot more suppression. It also lowers the tone of that, of that uh, shot. So again, fully you know welded titanium, you've got the mount that comes off, you've got an end cap, so um, just really robust cans. They're really, you can, you can see in this can here that the, uh, the internal baffle shape is directly uh, reflected in the exterior of the can. So they've got kind of a you know distinct shape, but that's because there's no need for the extra material. We've got the wall thickness. There's no need to have it be a full you know flat can. That's just extra weight. There's no reason. And you also mentioned you're working with direct thread instead of a QB mount. Yep. Right okay. now they're all direct thread. We we you know kick around options on QDs or just quick threads. Uh, but you know when it comes to you know reliability and getting it on the same way every time and making sure it's on, direct thread's pretty you know reliable. Sounds good. So Zach, thank you so much for telling us about CZ USA's new offerings for Shot yeah. 2018, and we hope you have a good show.